Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indexes. This is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, October 22nd, uh, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber down here in the corner. Hit the like button. That really helps this channel and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So as you can see, the market are quite mixed at this moment, but we are up 0. Uh, 40, 39, so we are a little bit up today. This is showing sign of uh, support here around the uh, 20 exponential moving average, as was expected. There is, of course, anticipation still that there is going to be a stimulus bill, but that is very, very, very unlikely. What we most likely will expect to see is that uh, Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi will uh, will make a deal. However, it is not likely that it will pass the U.S. Senate as the majority leader of the Republicans and the minority leader of the uh, Republicans in the United House of Representatives um, have pointed out do not make a deal with the Democrats before the election. And that means that we most likely will see uh, um, a stimulus bill uh, well, in February next year, and that is not going to be good for the United States economy and definitely not for the stock market. So uh, the technical indicators for S&P 500 are a little bit mixed. We can see that uh, uh, S&P 500 is about to cross the signal line. It is basically on the edge of the signal line. The RSI is technically flat, the CCI is flat, but the stochastic is pointing to lower levels. And uh, the Bollinger Band is quite flat as well. So I do believe that we'll find significant resistance in here at the 50 moving average that, and the 40 expansion moving average at 3,398. Um, so to the highs, if we pull up from here, then we'll go to these highs first, we'll find resistance here at 3,553, and then, of course, to these all-time highs. Um, before the election, I would not be surprised if we basically traded in between. Of course, there will be a lot of noise um, if there is a pronunciation that there's not going to be any stimulus whatsoever. We may find this market fall uh, below the 50 moving average, and if that is the case, then we'll find significant resistance or support, I mean, at 3,293. So there's no reason to short this market. This is a market that is basically going to increase in value over time. So the idea is basically to buy this in dips and get it for uh, good value. So you look at the Dow Jones. I need to get rid of these. There's nothing really happening in the Dow Jones today. We, are, we rallied a little bit, pulled back. Now we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average at 28,356. This market, of course, will probably be more affected by a stimulus than the other ones. Um, that is, will most likely be the case, especially, for example, Boeing will, will have a really uh, good uh, bounce if, uh, if there is a stimulus, and that, of course, will affect the Dow Jones significantly. If we look at the technical indicators for the Dow Jones, the MACD is technically flat. It's about to cross the signal line. It's basically on the signal line at the moment. The RSI is flat, the, the CCI is flat, but the stochastic is pointing to uh, lower levels and has lower... Um, is basically momentum is to the downside. And Bollinger Band, we're basically trading above this you know, 20 moving average and basically sideways. To the upside, if we rally from here, then we'll find resistance at 28,972. And if we break down from here, of course, the 50 moving average is here at 28,000. And of course, it's also a very round number. So I do believe that my buyers will come in here and push this uh, much higher if that is the case. So you look at the NASDAQ. We can see that we rallied a little bit, pulled back. 
and uh, it is quite mixed for the tech stocks. You can see that some of them are doing really well, some of them are doing horribly. Um, if we have additional stimulus, then of course that will be positive for this market. Uh, we'll find resistant here at 12,187. Uh, and after that, we are have the all-time highs here. Um, if we break down from here, of course, the 50-moving average will be a significant uh, support at 11,476. Further breakdown from here, we have the 100-moving average at 10,955. Don't expect that to happen. I do believe that will basically stay within this range uh, before the election even though that these technical indicators are mixed and the stochastic is fairly uh, bearish at this point, I do believe that uh, there's not going to be a massive move before the election. Um, if there's a stimulus bill passed, which is highly unlikely, um, then of course that will have uh, quite an impact on this market. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support this channel by clicking the subscribe button down here in the corner, hitting the bell button and the like button in order to see our newest videos. Uh, good luck and thank you very much.